Hello everyone. Today's short video we're looking at extracting Salesforce into Azure Data Lake Gen 2 using Data Factory. Quick visual, this is how it looks like. So we've got Salesforce and we use Data Factory to pull data into Azure Data Lake. A few notes uh, before we go on. Uh, this is for Salesforce. Uh, it's different from Salesforce Service Cloud or Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And we will require a username, password, and a security token that we can get from Salesforce application uh, to do this. And just a few short notes as well, this connector in ADF supports different Salesforce uh, editions, such as developer, professional, enterprise, and unlimited. And this connector supports copying data in production, sandbox, or test environment, and custom domain. Okay, without further ado, we are going to uh, Azure Data Factory uh, to, to show you what it looks like. Welcome to Azure Data Factory, and this is the Link Services page. Well, I'm just going to show you quickly how to create a Salesforce connection. And you can go new and type Salesforce. You have two options here: Salesforce, Salesforce Marketing Cloud, or Salesforce Service Cloud. Now, our uh, pick is Salesforce, and from here. You want to enter the URL of your Salesforce environment, uh, the, your username, uh, usually it's an email address, password, and security token. Now, from here, I'm just going to show you how we can quickly get that. And I've, already got, I've already have a Salesforce environment open. and This is an example how it looks like. And you've got your URL that you're going to copy paste. You've got the username and you've got the password. Now I'm just going to log in here into Teams. To get the Salesforce security token, you just need to go to your, uh, click your icon on the top right, go to settings, and you get this view. And you click reset, reset my security token, and you click this button. And you should get an email and stating your uh, security token and from here you enter all of them yeah. okay now I have entered all my credentials and when I test connection it's successful now you create that connection successful and then let's start creating a data set for this Salesforce and choose that link service and you can see here there's a bunch of sample tables that we can select uh, if I just choose that one for example uh, we can preview yeah there's some data in there now if you want to uh, copy just a particular table or call object API you can just select it here but I prefer to uh, do a query, so it's flexible. But I'm going to use this account feed as an example. So to do that, I have to just choose none. And I'm just going to publish to save that. And let me create a new pipeline. Just go copy. Click that one, and again you get the options either table or query. If you choose a table, you need to select a particular table here uh, in the data set. But because I didn't select anything, I have to use query. Now within query, you have to write a like something like T-SQL, but it's not the same. It's called Salesforce Object Query Language. And I've given a link uh, down in the description below if you want to check uh, more about it. Uh, but it looks something similar. The thing is, one key difference is you cannot use select star. You have to uh, specify the field name. So in this case, I'm just going to select ID from account feed. Now just remember that this account feed is not the name of this object API, but 
is something you can find is the object uh, called here account feed without a space and I'm just gonna do that and so it means I'm just gonna select one column from this uh, table yep and within sync I have got a CSV here to copy into a, a blob storage uh, with a container name raw name is test.csv and very basic uh, just to show that how it works and with this I'm just gonna debug yeah there you go this is the blob storage itself within raw and I have a test.csv okay uh, that is for today's short video on how to uh, load Salesforce data into data lake or blob storage using ADF. Thank you. Bye.